All right, I'm back. I've dried my paper. You always want to feel it with the back of your hand. Uh, just, it should, shouldn't feel any moisture there. I want to point out, I've got a couple of blossoms here where the water has pushed into the dryer pigment. That's not a desirable thing to have, but it's something that happens almost every painting and you just, you just learn to work with it and use it to your advantage. Right now I want to put in uh, the darker land masses in the distance, so that'll be the next thing that I approach. I'll start with some, some yellow. It has a little greenish cast to it because it had a little blue mixed in with it. There's actually three layers of land there, and what I'm doing is just painting in the all of them at once, and then I'll differentiate with my lights and darks later. Right now I'm using a variety of colors, cobalt blue, mixed with the various yellows that I've already used, and this gives continuity to my painting. As the land goes farther and farther back, it has atmospheric perspective, which will go more to a blue or a, a purplish cast, so I'm going to put a little permanent rose in with my cobalt blue to kind of achieve that right now. Putting in the lighter mountains in the very distant, maybe a couple miles away. There is just a light blue. All right, now I'm going to come back in and beef up some of these colors in this uh, the ground, the mountains that are closer here. And I'm going to start with some darker blue at, at the top because in my photograph here, that landmass is in shadow. There's a cloud, one of these big clouds passing overhead. <clears throat> 